With the occupation of the Channel Islands, Guernsey and Jersey, the German troops, for the first time, stepped foot on English soil. Those in the British Army of Occupation fled or were taken prisoner. Yesterday I received an important new collection of originals and I'm about as excited as a child on Christmas morning. It's a marvelous private collection from a German soldier that includes this rare English language newsreel. That isn't odd because he was stationed on the Channel Island of Guernsey during 1943, which was the only British territory occupied during the war. One of my subscribers asked to see more of the originals that I used to make the videos, and this is a good opportunity. The collection includes the 1940 film reel, a book that was published by the German Occupation Authority, a soldier's report from 1943 about the islands, and from the same year, an original Deutsche Gänse Zeitung, which was a newspaper printed by the occupiers. But the most interesting piece of the collection is a unique 1941 map of the island, Alderney, which gives insight into what the Germans had planned for the future. Unfortunately, my Christmas doesn't have a happy ending. Once I've completed and uploaded the videos, I'll have to sell the collection. So if you are possibly interested in buying it, let me know. But if you're not interested in the collection, that's fine with me too. The sign says that this is the headquarters of the German commander of the Channel Islands. Unfortunately, the sign wasn't part of the original collection. The newsreel is from the Ausland Tonwoche series and was produced specifically to be shown in the occupied Channel Islands. It was produced in April of 1940 and has a runtime of 6 minutes and 15 seconds. We'll be watching more of the reel and footage from other sources in the videos I produce. This is the collection. I suppose the center of the collection is this book here. First edition was published in 1942, but it's the second edition. It was published in 1943. It covers the, the populations. It talks about the nature, talks about the history, talks about the economy, talks about the important buildings, churches. So there's 140 pages or so, the first part. The second part of the book is about is pictures, photographs of the island. They seem to all be of pre-German times. I don't see any occupying troop pictures or anything like this. It's about history, culture, again. In the back, we have some maps glued in there. I think that they were part of the original book. It's possible that the soldier did it, but I don't think so. I think they're part of the book. It looks that way at least. This is a map, an overview of the islands in the Channel Islands. Here we have a large map of Guernsey, the largest island in the island chain. The same, a second one of exactly the same was added to the collection. I don't know. It's nice, it's really nice. So I'll certainly read the background of the islands the history, 
use some of the photos I suppose, certainly the map. If you've watched some of my other videos, you'll see how I follow the happenings and, and what's going on and show you where it's going on. I'll do the same thing. Next, we have a 1943 report written by a soldier on the island Jersey. And it starts out with him describing the experience of the soldiers arriving in Normandy after the mopping up of the, in the Western Campaign in France and being able to see from the coastline, they could, they could see with the naked eye the coast of Jersey Island. So there's, it's quite a long report. I'll certainly use this in the videos. Well, we've got two modern newspapers. This one's from 1971, Die Zeit, which is the Times. And this one talks about um, a race of private airplanes. It seems to be done every year on, yeah, the Channel Islands. Here we have another article from a newspaper. I think it's also from the 70s, probably around the same time period. It talks about a soldier going back to look at soldiers cemetery where some of his comrades were buried. Okay, this is an important part of the collection. It's from the Deutsche Gernsee Zeitung, so the German Gernsee paper. It was produced by the Germans during their occupation. It's the second year that it was done, so second, I guess they started in 42. Number 377, Saturday the 5th of September 1943. Basically, published for the occupying troops to keep up on the, the war and what's going there. Really interesting. I haven't seen these papers before. I didn't know they existed. Done a quick search and I haven't been able to find any more of them. I was kind of hoping to get the whole series or at least multiple ones together. So we'll be seeing some of this stuff certainly. It's fascinating. Okay, and then finally, this wonderful 1941 map that shows the Channel Island Alderney. And what the Germans have done here is that they've, they've penned in in red the names, German names that they're gonna change all the locations on the island to, so they're new names. Kaninchen Bucht, which basically means <laughs> Rabbit Bay. Some funny names. Um, and Gutenberg, Felsen Bucht. <laughs> Anyways, it's fascinating, it's interesting. These names obviously were never used. It never happened. And it's kind of, it's lost to history, this. But the collection's great. And I look forward to making the videos. Don't forget to subscribe.